Hi, I'm Chase Haskell and welcome to the Game Day Grub Series. Today's recipe is amazing chicken wings. They are super simple, very easy to put together, will blow your mind and are a perfect accompaniment to a high level game of rugby. Now we have put together an incredible snack. We have a British and Irish Lions game versus South Africa. You need some sustenance to help wash down your beers, to calm your nerves and to fill your stomach. We're using the Timberline 850 Traeger. Obviously they're a fantastic pellet grill. We've got some cherry in there today as well. Really nice smoky cherry flavor that we will enjoy on our chicken wings. Okay, so this is how we're gonna season our wings. We've got some lovely chicken wings um, that are still obviously the skin on because you wanna crisp that up. We're gonna put some mustard on the wings. Excuse me, or you. So everything's nice and coated in the mustard. Now, as I said, it's gonna be a binding agent. We're gonna sprinkle a lot of this uh, rub on. You can't, you can obviously can use too much, but at the moment it's game day, so we're not too worried about our waistlines. We're worried about flavor and enjoying ourselves. We wanna make sure every inch of the wings is covered. Now, the reason I partnered with Traeger and absolutely love them and have been using them for the last seven years is they are the perfect idiot's guide to kind of barbecuing. They can turn someone who has absolutely no discernible cooking skills into a genius. People will be raving about your cooking. I'm not even messing around. I talked about the smart functions on this particular model. So I've set the temperature to 180. I did it earlier from my smartphone while I was in the kitchen preparing the other parts of the recipe. It's now come up to temperature. We're gonna lift it open and we're gonna put the wings on there and we're gonna let them cook. And remember, we're cooking to temperature, not time. I always put them skin down first and you cook them to 75 degrees internal temperature. And then you have perfect, healthy, safe chicken wings. Okay, it's really important that we just check the temperature to make sure we are all good. Yeah, all of them are 75 degrees. You wanna go as close as you can to the bone or the thickest part of the meat. Yeah, they're absolutely spot on. We actually put some spicier wings on top as well just to get a little bit of an extra kick. So what we're gonna do, is we put them into the bowl now they're cooked. And as I said, Traeger has a full range of uh, different barbecue sauces. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the uh, called the Traeger Q. This is a really nice spicy sort of barbecue sauce, um, which will go down really well on top of the wings. This is down to obviously your own personal taste, but what I want to do is be quite liberal with it. So all the wings are um, now coated. And what we're going to do is we put them back on the grill just to lock some of that flavor in. Now you can obviously take them off, um, or if you want to, and you've taken the middle shells out, you can actually paint them on with a sauce brush depending on how you like it. I find this is the easiest way to do it. And it's less faff. The big unveil, look at them. Unbelievable, Jeff. They're very kindly actually giving me some specialist uh, Traeger tongs so I don't burn my finger and try to keep my composure while making my game day grub. Now remember, you can put any kind of barbecue sauce on it. Traeger have an incredible range of them. Spicy ones, mellow ones. These wings have got a little bit of a kick to them but not too much. And so we've put a bit of a spicy barbecue sauce on them. These, they're in the danger zone because they will knock your socks off. I wouldn't recommend them uh, doing anything or eating any of these pre-exercise. You might run faster, but not to where you want to run. They are unbelievable. These are naughty little kick. Some of the nicest, most sticky chicken wings you've got.